All right, so we're here at the Houston Aquarium, downtown Houston. All right, Scarlett, we're gonna be riding the blue one. What is this? It says it's all electric. I wanna ride in the back. All time while the train is in motion. Our voyage today takes place aboard a specially designed CP Huntington train, modeled after the turn of the century steam engines. It will take us around the entire seven acres situated along Houston's Buffalo Bayou. Along the way, we will learn about the downtown aquarium, as well as the importance of sharks and their role in the marine world. The Buffalo Bayou rests just beside and behind our property. The historic Central Waterworks building, just ahead, was built in the late 1800s. It was used to pump water from the bayou for Houston residents and for the fire stations to utilize. Over the next 100 years, as Houston grew, fresh water became apparent, and that became the end of the Waterworks building. Now, it's home to 200,000 gallons of seawater. In the fall of 2017, Hurricane Harvey was an unprecedented storm that caused unforeseen damage to our shark tunnel and tanks. The life support systems and all electrical were destroyed. It was engulfed with 27 feet of water. If you look up to the building on your right, you'll see the marked flood lines from the last two major flood events. Pretty amazing, right? Central Waterworks Building. This turn-of-the-century building is now home to 200,000 gallons of seawater. The tunnel in which we are located is approximately 70 feet long, and the acrylic is over 5 inches thick, supporting more than 700 tons of water directly over your head. There are several different species of sharks swimming around us. The largest of the sharks that you see is the sand tiger shark. These sharks are 10 feet long and weigh over 200 pounds. They are found worldwide and are identifiable by their numerous rows of shark teeth. The most numerous sharks in our exhibit are brown sharks, which are frequently found off the coast of Galveston. The brown sharks that you see here are approximately five to seven feet in length and are the most aggressive feeders in the exhibit. It is a common misconception that sharks need to constantly move. However, you may notice some sharks resting on the bottom of the exhibit. They are nurse sharks and spend the majority of their time on the ocean floor. They can reach up to 10 feet in length and weigh over 200 pounds. The most unusual and rare animal located in the tank above you is the sawfish. It is a ray, not a shark and can reach over 20 feet in length, weighing over 1,000 pounds. The sawfish uses its toothed saw to kill its prey. The large female sawfish you see actually survived Hurricane Harvey's flood. Due to her ability to live in lower oxygen environments and in both fresh and salt water, she was able to maintain until we could get the filtration reestablished. Now that is Houston Strong. Sawfish are considered endangered internationally, and Landry's Incorporated is proud to be working on partnerships with Australian scientists to help save the sawfish. Animals in the exhibit are fed three times a week. Divers routinely go into the tank for maintenance, but continue on from here. Sharks are fascinating animals. It is amazing how adaptive they are. 
Have any of you heard about the great white shark that escaped from our shark tank during the last flood? Our scientific staff has searched the entire Gulf Coast trying to recapture it. It was never found, and some believe that it may still be in the Buffalo Bayou. So keep a lookout as we travel through the park. The Downtown Aquarium Project was conceived in 2001 and took 18 months to build. Wow, look at this. It looks like the Great White may have spent some time around here. Look at that boat hull. That's one big bike. Hey everyone, we are approaching a bridge, so be careful not to fall out. Oh, they're playing some Jaws. Is everyone okay? That was close. We need to call the aquarium staff to get over there and catch that monster. Any volunteers? <laughs> I didn't think so. The downtown aquarium contains over 500,000 gallons of water. This water is home to thousands of fish from all over the world. The Aquarium Adventure Exhibit is also home to the Maharaja's Temple, where you can catch a glimpse of the rare and beautiful white tigers. Be sure to visit our Stingray Reef Exhibit, where you can feed and touch these awesome creatures in our one-of-a-kind touch tank. The Downtown Aquarium staff and Landers Incorporated are committed to supporting the conservation of our environment and educating our visitors about the importance of being respectful to the world around us. Our educational programs give you an inside look at how we care for our magnificent animals here at the Downtown Aquarium. We are proud to partner with many wildlife and educational organizations that are focused on protecting our planet's wildlife.